Can you tell me your name? Uh, yes, my name is Patrit Halilai. And you're from? I'm, I'm from Kosovo. And uh, this is my second solo show in Paris. And I come back after three years since when I did the first solo show with Kamel Menor. And this show is called Abetare and Flute Rat, uh, which is the book where I started to learn the language and, and be, uh, start the education and, and being part of this collective kind of experience. And the classroom were 30 years of layers of drawing uh, uh, are on them and all the signs. And what I did is working on enlarging and how this kind of drawing as kind of uh, echoes of uh, would inhabit the space uh, here in the gallery and uh, and would be like this mix between you know like very local and uh, very specific history that comes from 99 or 80s to uh, 10 years after the war and and you can see this very local history and very global because you can see like for example the army near to Eminem which is some, someone that we all know. And the army TMK, which I imagine you don't know what it is. No, but what is it? Uh, it's, it's the uh, peace, uh, actually the force troops of Kosovo that was transformed from Uceta after the war. And, and it's incredible that you, that, like, because you see how kids were totally influenced by the history that they went through. But in the same time was the time where the internet arrived and you can see also how they know who is Ronaldo or who is Messi and, and they have the same dreams or they, they see palms which doesn't grow in Kosovo but like it's so they they represent both a very hard history of, of but also a very um, open one like which all of us can be part of it somehow. I, I feel Voila. And what does that mean? Oh, Ora. It's very funny because normally it's an emblem where it would be a uchika, but it's just a name of a person. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a name of, actually it's a name of a girl. And I love that she saw her name as a saver or emblema that you normally would see uchike or something, which was a mm -hmm. troop of liberation of Kosovo or something. <laughs> and, and, uh, where are you living now? I live between, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you tell us, tell, tell. I live between uh, Germany, Kosovo, and, and uh, Italy, and here. I mean, uh, traveling with the work, it, it's kind of become a new reality of my life in a way. Um, so now for these two weeks I was here, <laughs> and I really enjoyed. It's kind of as seeing the space, kind of as the space become a table, where you know, like, if you see, for example, you have, like, layers and layers and really, like, I love this moment of when a kid take a time and a freedom to express their own... Uh, absolutely. Inside a, a, a society where you are seated and you are collectively... Just imagine a lesson was going on and instead of listening, you had a moment where you draw a I love you or a penis or a car or a, a gun or Justin Bieber. <laughs> and how does the work upstairs connect with this? The work upstairs, I mean, to me, is the mix between the ABC book where you start to kind of, it's the first book where you learn the language and the alphabet and you start to, from drawing lines to learning how to write and, and, and it's a moment of a collective shared like education, like w what we are instructed to do. And here it's a moment of freedom and destruction and a moment of personal freedom and personal expression of your language because this was not in a program of a school to be drawn, but it's just like your own space that you secretly take to express your, yourself. And it's really what touches me most. And it's so near to also the relation between drawing and, and, and language and, and writing. So uh, for me it was amazing because like they all have this bidimensional side of them but they become also sculptures because they inhabit the space. And was this work shown also in Kosovo? No, never. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know what like it means to to bring the crazy classroom yeah. in, in. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah. I would love to. Well, what's it like living there now? It's amazing. It's it's really exciting country. I think uh, it's it's. Just imagine, like seventy percent of people is under thirty years old. Wow! So it seems to it's be like in a university in a courtyard, but you are just in a normal street, and and it's it's quite unique, I think. The whole generation is so, missing. So it's 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 really really exciting energy that you feel immediately when you go, and and it's all to be invented and and built still. So so you you feel this 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 potential and chance that I don't know. It feels like. You can grab it or not, but like it is there, and it's it's quite fascinating. Great, thank, thank you. you.